We heading out? Let's get going. Oh, still here. You go on ahead. We heading out? Let's get going. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. I don't think you will follow. Come on, I have a plan. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. But they don't know you at all yet. The Thalmor Ambassador, Ellenwen, 
regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Elenwen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Melbourne. Any questions? Don't worry about Melbourne. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Ballonwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the Ambassador's parties. Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. Sounds good. Be careful. Position. Far you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother. Get on with it! You should tell her that her uncle is stung that betrayed his high king. Best she know now. Oh. Well, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, warm beds. 
That's definitely going in my part of the Edda. Feel free to make requests. Surrounded by good music, good drink, and good friends is all I've ever asked for. Oh, good. I've been waiting for you. Here you go. It's all ready. Now, Sergius knows what I want. I'm hoping he can get it done quickly. Generally, if you want rumors, you should talk to Orpulus. That said, I did see a visitor pass through on his way to the Blue Palace. graduate. I work here at the Winking Skeever. I would highly recommend it, though. Talk to Viarmo if you're interested. You should think about staying the night. Corpus keeps it clean in. Fletching suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious, but a well-made arrow strikes... If Skyron didn't have enough guy. outsiders. Now we've got mercenaries from Hamilton strutting about. right away. I'm a little busy at the moment. I've got all sorts of things. Need something? Hmm? Sorry, I was just in the Lady Atia says my voice is second only. Hey, wanna play tag?
wish only to graduate them. Welcome to the Bard's College. I'm the headmaster here. How may I help you? Always a pleasure to meet a prospective bard. You should be aware that many apply, but we accept very few people. When possible, we ask applicants to perform tasks the college needs completed. In this case, I do have a task befitting an aspiring bard. Elisif has forbidden the burning of King Olaf, a festival put on by the Bard's College. We need to change her mind. To convince her, I want to read King Olaf's verse, a part of the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Unfortunately, the verse was lost long ago. Yes, according to Giraud, our history's keeper, the portion of the Edda dealing with King Olaf might still exist in Dead Man's Respite. I need you to retrieve the poem. Not much, to be honest. Their return was a shock to us all. Gerard Germain has some tomes about them in the library if you're interested. winners to be had and no real conclusion. If you want something a bard can dig into, look to the dragons. A thousand years from now, Skyrim will have changed rulers dozens of times. But the return of the dragons, that story is once in an era. As you may be aware, Elisif's husband, High King Torig, was recently killed. Elisif mourns her husband deeply and she feels that a festival that burns a king in effigy is distasteful. I tried to convince her the festival is many centuries old and celebrates solitude, but I need proof. I believe King Olaf's verse will provide that proof. I think Giro here would give you the best explanation of both it and the history of King Olaf's verse. You should speak to him about it. I wish you luck in finding the verse. I am Dean of Loot at the park. It takes two things to be a good teacher. The first is patience. The second is a firm wooden stick for wrapping knuckles. Good to meet a prospective bard. He's sending you after King Olaf's verse, then. That's good. We shouldn't leave it lying around now that I figured out where it is. The verse was Svaknir's contribution to the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Each bard adds to the Edda in his or her time. And a very ancient one. The verse criticized the reigning King Olaf. 
He was so incensed the bard was put to death and all the copies burned. At least, that's what we thought until I translated some ancient texts a year or so ago. We now believe King Olaf buried the truth with the bard. If I'm right, Svaknir and King Olaf's verse lie in dead men's respite, along with the burial chamber of King Olaf himself. Be careful. You might find more than just King Olaf's verse in dead man's respite. Well, we've come to the right place. Dean of History, and scribe work when I can find some quiet time. The one casts those illusions. Impressive.
his time.
have to admit I didn't think it would actually be there. Now, let's take a look at this. Oh. Oh, no. This won't do at all. The copy is incomplete. It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable. And the parts that are readable... Well, Vardic verse has come a long way since ancient times. It means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf Festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye? become king, and Numenex escaped later. It's, it's entirely possible. I'm sure the court will like that. I'm writing it in. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Strange. According to history, Solitude attacked Winterhold, but this seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? And they got the orders backwards. <laughs> yes, I'm writing that in. <laughs> it should be good for a laugh from the court. <laughs> it has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come.
I do hope the court likes the verse. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it. I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf festival. I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex Hakan for the ages. No shouting match between dragon and man, no fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf struck a deal to make himself king. Numenex let go though none tell that tale. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From Falkreath to Winterhold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Olaf gave orders, winter hold disguises. An attack on solitude, total destruction to follow. His men dressed up and then went out to fight. But they reversed Olaf's orders, much to Winterhold's sorrow. So ends the story of Olaf the liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of solitude commit to the fire. In solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. You have proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. I thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be moderately rewarded. Oh, thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in recovering the poem, will be well rewarded. Unbelievable! You have done us a great service here. I can't begin to thank you enough. Soon, soon, these things must be done properly. You will be inducted as part of the festival itself. I need you to go speak to Yorn. He was preparing the effigy of King Olaf. Tell him to finish the preparations. The festival is back on! The effigy. This is what the court. Please address all questions to the steward, Folk Firebeard. Ah, the 
far. I'll tell everyone we're ready. But we'll start the festival at dusk. Come talk to me after dark. We'll get the festival started when you do. like you'll be one of us soon. We'll gather outside the college for the burning of King Olaf. There's the man himself. People of Solitude, we of the Bard's College are pleased to be here to celebrate the burning of King Olaf. The festival would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant. With the lighting of the effigy, He becomes a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Please welcome our newest Bard! I think they like you. Yes, congratulations. You are now a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Due to your adventurous nature, several of the college professors have some things they wish you to do. What's more, Elisif has declared the burning of King Olaf should become a weekly event. And finally, there's the matter of the patronage that Elisif wanted me to give you.
wine here. First cup is paid for by the college. Festival meat pie, specially made. Might as well have festival. some sweets. You should hear I it. Made them for the festival, after all. Stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Hello, I'm Gizli. But you can just What do you need? Erica's really? Everyone You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. I may look the part of it. Your job is to get... The party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. Being old's not so bad. My daughter keeps me fed. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest.
Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the Amber? Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. by carriage, no less. I salute you, sir. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this God's forsaken mountain than any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. Please, you first. I insist. Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, etc., etc. I'm just doing my duty, sir. Everything's in order. Welcome back, sir. Yes, yes. Now, Please proceed into the embassy. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Elenwyn, the Thalmor Ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, Madam tell me Ambassador, more about yourself. So what brings you to this... <sighs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the Arinthia Red? Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. Here you go, sir. The finest Colovian brandy. Is there anything else I can get for you? Oh.
right then. It is not eyes that reveal another's true nature. It is the heart. Fair faces and fine food are well and good, but honesty is rarely so pleasing. There are words spoken and words unspoken. Beware these, Thalmor, for they are adept in both languages. For this reason, I avoid them when I can. May wisdom light your path. These Thalmor know how to treat a guest. I've known her long enough to appreciate her excellent taste in food and wine. And also long enough to respect her importance to Skyrim. She plays a vital role in rooting out the forbidden worship of Talos. As far as I'm concerned, those Talos worshippers get what they deserve. All they do is cause problems for me and the other Jarls. Yes, I know what you mean. Most Nords struggle to accept change. Those who fought the Thalmor in the Great War still see an enemy. But that war is over, and a new day has dawned. Besides, the Thalmor reward their friends richly. Anyone who doesn't take advantage of that is a stubborn fool. Until later, then. A ruler is entitled to luxury, don't you think? The Thalmor understand that. Well, let's hear it. I trust you don't presume on our friendship. I'm a Jarl, after all. I wouldn't want to appear foolish in front of these people. Ah, I see. Very well, my friend. I'll do it. It's all for a good cause. Stormcloak, the rightful High King. That's bordering on treason, man. What can I get for? Stand up. Of course. Stand up, I Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. Let's go. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. Razmir. And you promise to behave yourself this time. Remove him. He's disturbing the other guests. I protest. This yes, is an insult. Let me do the talking. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us. Out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Follow me. Apologize for the disruption to such a festive occasion. That is absolutely untrue. Who comes, Malvern? Yes, of course. You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest in the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it? Honey, I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Did Good you luck. see those robes you're on your own this morning? Were they with you?
and I am your boss. <laughs> 